Hi guys, it is an unbelievably, spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times in the paradise of East Bumblefuck, New Mexico on Saturday, March 4th, 2017. I, I think this is a, an aspen tree coming out. Might be a cotton one, but I think it's an aspen tree. Anyway, this is your old doomsday gardener uh, out in his garden. I've just finished murdering my darlings, which is called, you know, uh, not weeding, thinning. That's the word I'm looking for. I've been thinning my greens, my luxurious green bed. Looking a little beat up. This is the garlic. Come Look at that garlic coming along. But anyway, guys. Now that I've finished thinning my greens and murdering my darlings, it is time for me to apply the uh, to apply the manure tea that I made here Wednesday. Uh, I did a video on that a few days ago, and now I'm I'm, I'm a little concerned that, that I I just need to make an amplification and clarification on that video. So if you have not seen that video on how to make manure tea, I will put the link on it and I, and I uh, encourage you to watch that. So this is part two and this is about how to apply the manure tea once you have finished making it. So as I say, this manure tea has been brewing for three days now, three days. So it ought to be nice and ripe. We ought to have a good little uh, colony of soil-loving bacteria. The good stuff. So here is my, my tea bag. Little dog, do not knock over my tripod, please. Oh, man. Is that some beautiful stuff or not? There we go my tea bag. Oh, smells a little ripe. Mmm, smells like good food to me. So, uh, anyway, there's two very important things that I want to make sure you understand about manure tea that I'm not sure I made, uh, I made clear in my video when I was making it. The number one thing is, guys, do not Put the full strength, do not put full strength manure tea on your garden. You still need to cut it. So I've made a 10 gallon bucket of this, whew, uh, this lovely stuff, but uh, eh, just, just judging by how dark brown and opaque it is, I'm going to cut this about 3 to 1. If, if you have any doubt, cut it 5 to 1. All right, so, so a 10-gallon bucket of tea, I've actually made 30 gallons of total tea. So I've got my five-gallon bucket, so I'm going to put, I don't know, about a gallon and a half. I'm going to figure about a gallon and a half of tea in here. You know... All right, is that about right, Hambone? Okay, I'm gonna call that a gallon. Again, you know, organic gardening, what I love about it is it's not down to the quarter ounce. So, let's go. Ah, my hose is kinked. So we're going to sit here and uh, I know this is real exciting too. So we're going to fill up this five gallon bucket. So as I say, I've used about one and a half gallons of my tea. And then we're going, the other main thing you need just for a, you know, a fairly small garden is a watering can. And you want to make sure 
your watering can has a removable spray head. Uh, the reason being that you want the, the removable head is uh, the cause for the, the, the little plants that are just coming out, like my broccoli and cabbage, for instance. The, the plants that, uh, the little seedlings that are just emerging, you don't want, you, you don't want to put even, even the, uh, the watered down tea on, on those plants. So you want to, you know, to, like put a circle of, uh, of water a couple of inches from your plant. But the plants that are up and running, such as my spinach and my greens and my uh, garlic, you can put this, you know, put the spray thing on your, and it can also be done with the sprayer, but you want to, uh, for your plants that are already up and have leaves on them, you can put this directly onto the leaves. It'll go right through the leaves. Uh, good stuff. So uh, you, you do understand the difference. All right, I'm about to get this. Uh, I should have had this pre-made. I didn't realize it took my hose this long to uh, make make uh, three and a half gallons of water come out of the hose. So we have a nice frothy come on hammer. We have a nice frothy mixture. So there's the original tea. And here's the nice frothy mixture. I wish you could smell this. Jesus. My little dog is not impressed by a mature the manure tea. Alright. Come on, you damn hose. This is high tech, high tech gardening videos. All right, so this is close enough to five gallons. So uh, I'm just gonna set this hose back in my potato bag. I have not seen sign hide nor hair of my potatoes yet in my potato bag. All right, so get our our watering can this is a two gallon watering can and, uh, it would be real nice if the handle wasn't right directly in the way of the hole all right you gotta love life in the end times okay So there you have your watering can. And we're gonna go over and water the spinach and the broccoli and show you what I'm talking about. So, uh, uh -oh, what has been digging in my garden? So here's my little spinach plants. Now they're up and running and have a lot of nice leaves. So I'm simply going to just coat the entire plant leaves stems roots everything oh man all right so there you go that's how you do that now we're going to go over to my little baby uh, let's go over here to my little baby cabbage plants. So you see these, I think you can see these little guys. This is my drip irrigation system. One day I'll do a drip irrigation video. So with these plants, if I can get the head off this dam. So these plants, you know, just coming, emerging out of the ground, I would not hit the plant the leaves of those little plants with so just go along you know and just pour the water 
a couple of inches, uh, you know, in a circle around the little plant and don't pour it directly on the leaves because you could burn them. And anyway, that's it guys. Real rocket science. Real rocket science. So that is how you apply manure tea and I'm going to do this for the balance of the spring. I'm going to uh, apply the manure tea every Saturday and Wednesday is going to be my schedule. You know, just throughout the growing season. So I hope that helps. Get out there in this gorgeous springtime weather and get gardening for the end times. This is your old doomsday gardener. Back at it. Bye guys. Want to see the dog?